In this video, we're going to look at the Pro Tools file structure. When you first create a Pro Tools session, the system sets up a hierarchy for all of the session components. This includes a session folder, a session file, and a variety of different subfolders. So let's take a look at the different types of files that Pro Tools generates and stores in each folder. First, we have the session file, which is a document that Pro Tools creates when you start the project. This will always be created inside a session folder of the same name. The session file contains information about your tracks, audio and video files, settings, and all of the edits associated with your project. The next file we see is the wave cache. This file stores all of the waveform display data for any audio in the session. It's a great idea to include this file when you move a session to a new system because it will enable the session to open more quickly. The wave cache file is one of the few files inside the session folder that can be deleted without harming your session because Pro Tools can always recalculate the waveforms if necessary. The next folder is one of the most important, and that's the audio files folder. This is where Pro Tools stores each take of audio that you've recorded inside the session. You definitely want to make sure that this folder and all the files inside it are not deleted accidentally. The next folder you see here is called Session File Backups. If you enable autosave inside of Pro Tools, which you definitely should, then this is the place where all of the autosave session files will be stored. Now there are a variety of other folders that you may or may not see inside your session folder. These include the Fade Files folder. With Pro Tools 10, all fades are calculated and played back in real time, which eliminates the need for this folder in most sessions. A MIDI Files folder, which is only created when you use the Export MIDI command inside Pro Tools. A Sibelius Files folder, which is only created when you use the export Sibelius command inside of Pro Tools. A Rendered Files folder, which is created anytime you use rendered elastic audio processing inside of Pro Tools. A Clip Groups folder, which is only created when you export clip groups from your session. And a Video Files folder, which is created when you digitize video into Pro Tools using an Avid Video Peripheral. So that's the basic Pro Tools file structure. And again, the most important file types are definitely the session file and the audio files folder. So make sure you take good care of those.